tips for people who are doing the HSC would firstly be get your hours of sleep because if you don't get enough sleep you're not able to function or even do better the next day or get back into it so sleep is definitely my first tip. I would say like take care of yourself, put yourself first. I found that throughout the year I would find myself down when I wasn't prioritising uh, time alone or time to unwind. So as lockdown um, went further on, I started exercising more and spending more time outside and I realised that that actually had a massive impact on how well I was able to function working from home. But even at school, um, yeah, keeping that balanced lifestyle is so, so important for maintaining academics. Like it's obviously, your life isn't just HSC. You need to keep social time, you need to keep active, um, all those sorts of things, I would, I would say. And, you know, making sure you can have those bad days and, and feel like you're not getting anywhere and you're not understanding stuff and, and maybe not getting a mark you're wanting, but just keeping positive and staying resilient and reaching out when you feel like you do have some of those bad days when it's a bit hard. I think that's what allowed me to get up into those higher marks, yeah. Not all learning is comfortable. Uh, there's definitely some things that make you feel super uncomfortable getting into it, but my advice would be to just find someone to tackle it with and just take it as it comes, um, break it down to whatever you can and go from there. The biggest thing is to work with your teachers. I think the drafting process is really essential working through the HSE and I think people don't realise that earlier on. But yeah, going into the HSE, mistakes were probably the biggest thing that helped me to get better throughout the year. I really needed teachers for the communication and feedback. So I actually set a goal for myself to email them at least uh, once a day, each of my teachers. And it might have gone a little bit annoying, but it was really important to get the active feedback so I wasn't just making the same mistakes over and over again. But so, well during school you study five hours a day, so I probably try and do two or three in the afternoon, but then again, like it definitely varies, you definitely have to have a life outside of school. Um, so probably, yeah, two or three hours after school, but when it came to, we graduated and we just at home, I would probably do definitely like around six, but maybe six to eight, but then once again, it does vary, yeah, with how you're feeling, yeah. MacArthur definitely still gave us lots of opportunities to enjoy ourselves and they made, even through lockdown, although it was hard and we didn't have much contact, they still, all the teachers tried to still make activities for us to engage and socially as well, so. I think the biggest standout for MacArthur was the support and the help that teachers provided. I felt often very um, comforted to have a teacher always around the corner on, the, on email or there was phone calls, sometimes Zoom calls. They definitely made the whole experience a lot better. At uni, I'm hoping to do a double degree of civil engineering and architecture at UCID. In uni, i am gotten into Western for arts law at the moment, so I'm going to do that in a double degree, and we'll see what other offers I get, but that's the plan for now, yeah. And what are you hoping to do at uni? Um, so, currently, I want to do politics, philosophy and economics at ANU, um, but I'll, I'll see, like, a, yeah, still kind of working it out, but yeah. So, at uni, I'm hoping to study either exercise physiology at the University of Wollongong, or perhaps physiotherapy at Western Sydney. 